everyone, this is Greg from AI Light Show. In this video, we will be discussing the four front end audio conditioning blocks available in the Force 1.0. Now, by default, when you get into run mode, the base in audio conditioning block will be selected. This is noted here in yellow above the Y axis. This is essentially a bandpass filter centered at 100 Hz, and you're seeing the result of that displayed in the audio waveform here in blue. Whenever the audio waveform exceeds the manually adjustable trigger level, it'll create an internal trigger that the effects respond to instantaneously. Now, you can access a different audio conditioning blocks through the Mac shift operator buttons one through four. Now right now you can see shift operator button number one blinking indicating we have bass in selected. To this I can add a peak detector circuit which is essentially a pulse extractor that extracts pulses from the audio waveform and filters everything else out. I can also select the raw audio input waveform without any filtering at all and to that I can add the peak detector as well. We'll go back to base in. One other feature I want to mention is that shift operator button number seven under max will give you access to a boost and compression circuit as well. This will essentially give you 40 dB of gain boost and 20 dB of compression, which means that you will get 20 dB of fixed gain plus an additional 20 dB of automatic gain control. And this is also noted here when you have it on or off, and you can turn that on or off at will.